guys, welcome back to my art channel. So for today's video, I will be presenting you a simplified and summarized version of my AD6 major plate number two. This will mainly consist of my blurred out plans for security reasons and some perspectives of our proposed Pasay City Hall. So before going into the presentation, I would just like to thank my partner, Darl De Case Bonode, for making this plate together with me. This is her art account right here. I'll plug it right here. And... I also want to thank my professor architect Rutor for the guidance and supervision. So if you're curious on how my plate turned out, then keep on watching. In line with the plate requirements of Architectural Design 5, we present to you our proposed city hall in the Pasay City named CityZen, a place of abode. As students of architecture, we tend to ponder about the future of the world and what architecture has in store for us. We tend to think about the bigger pictures, futuristic, dynamic, and sometimes even thought as crazy unattainable architecture. And looking at the architecture we have today, it saddens me because we tend to lose touch of what is important and essential to us human beings. We as architects should not look too far from the problems that are in front of us. We should instead see growth and development as small steps to improve our building while taking into consideration the effects it would bring to our environment. With this, we present to you CityZen, a place of abode. The design of the city hall signifies the importance of having a built relationship of the people towards nature. The concept stems from the word city, representing the community, and Zen, meaning peace, calmness, and serenity. There are incorporated elements of Zen that can be seen throughout the design from the segregation of spaces down to its minimal aesthetics. The form Enso is a sacred circular symbol in Zen which means absolute enlightenment, connection, and togetherness, and it is reflected in the form of the main building. For our design philosophy, as stated by Tantao Ando, we borrow from nature the space upon which we build. This serves as a reminder for us to incorporate nature as much as we can and apply strategies to accentuate the built structure together with the landscape and create harmony between them. For the design considerations, first is community. Part of our design consideration is to provide public accessible buildings that people can comfortably use, hence promoting social interaction. Next is Zen and nature. The backbone of the design that is applied to create a sustainable, appealing, and aids in the user's physical and mental well-being. Next is circulation. Segregated spaces and buildings to impart a sense of appreciation to users towards the landscape. Function, efficiently allot spaces without compromising its function. Safety, since a city hall is a civic center for the public and the government, safety and security should not be compromised. Lastly is sustainability, which is to incorporate design features and strategies that will add to the energy efficiency and sustainability of the structure. For the design features, rainwater purification trees were scattered along the site. The umbrella-like structures function by collecting and purifying rainwater that can be used for local irrigation, cleaning, emergency hydrants, and even drinking. Solar panel sheds were also used on the rooftop for shade as well as energy saving. For the monument, the Citizen Monument is an erected feature situated in front of our site that helps in reminding people the importance of green architecture and sustainable design. The spiraling feature depicts the tedious process of reverting the world back to its healthy state. So for our site analysis, we first compose of three options to choose from. This being the site near Star City, site in front of Alpha Land, and site near the Lipperdad Channel. But upon further deliberation and consultation, we decided to choose the site near Star City with the reasons being the site is near various landmarks, it is rich in greenery, and has a low flood hazard with no slope. To present you our plans, what we have here is the site development plan which clearly shows the spaces and amenities. The site is bounded by roads being the Rojas Boulevard and the Vicente Soto Driveway. For our vehicular flow, vehicles may enter the two-way road at the back of the site to keep the frontage serene and quiet. Situated near the entrance is also where our Banaue Rice Terraces inspired parking building with its green roof and landscaping. Next is the mini park that breaks the space and transitions people into the city hall. Next building is the main building which features landscape roofing for events. It also features the solar panel sheds to not only conserve energy but to serve as a shade with added aesthetic. Next is the pavilion building for spaces for congregation and leisure. This includes spaces like the cafeteria, 
hangout areas, and other offices like park management office. Near the exit is where the playground is located for children to play and spend their time while their parents are in the offices getting their valuable documents. One noteworthy feature is the Zen. You know, one noteworthy feature is the center of the city, which includes a beautiful arrangement of trees, flowers, and plants that may be appreciated by the people in and outside the city hall. In addition, one design strategy that was incorporated is to make use of materials like light-colored roofing and grass crete on pavements to alleviate heat to alleviate heat along the site. For the elevations, the site elevation shows the relationship of the buildings. The right side elevation shows the parking building, materials, and the features that can be used such as and the features that can be used such as rainwater purification tree, the vertical green wall with decorative aluminum panel, the vinyl polyester waterproof canopy, 6mm thick tempered glass railing, green roofing, and the 200 mm thick painted cement exterior wall. The front elevation of the main building shows how the built structure harmonizes with the nature. The materials used are 200 mm thick painted cement exterior wall, aluminum window cladding with soft scape, solar panels on the roof, low emissivity glass on facade, 6 mm thick tempered glass railing. So for the floor plans, the spaces were segregated using colors like blue representing the public spaces, yellow for semi-private, red being private, violet for service areas like utility rooms, comfort rooms, and fire exits, and lastly, orange for the parking slot. Green is also used to represent the vegetation around the site. So looking at the floor plan, you may clearly see the flow of the spaces allocated for the users. Elevators and stairs are located in the center for the public to use while the sides are mainly used for the staff, staff personnel and employees. You will also notice how rich our greeneries are since one of the design objectives was to preserve the trees present. This is the view of the site as well as Rojas Boulevard. So from this image, you will clearly see how lush our vegetation is. And one feature and design strategy worth noting is the rainwater collection system scattered along the site. This is inspired by the Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam where reverse sloping umbrellas are used to collect water and utilize them for filtration, irrigation, and human and animal consumption. This is a close-up to our aerial perspective featuring the collection systems. The ground floor plan on site also features the center of the city where land meets water to form a complementing landscape with an added maple tree as a biophilic centerpiece. Next view on site is the playground featuring the biophilic playground to blend with its surroundings. Fun and unique landscape furniture are added to improve the user experience, especially for the kids. So for the main building ground floor, this floor features a lot of public spaces for people to have an easier time in navigating and wayfinding. This is also where most of the PWD offices are located to prevent hassle with the senior citizen. Enough restrooms are placed on both sides as well as the center to accommodate its users. One special feature of the ground floor area is the medical area like pet veterinary, dentist, and clinic. An ambulance emergency parking is also placed near this area. This is the interior view of the reception area, which features the suspended ceiling design that accentuates the Zen concept. The partition wall is used to cover the restroom area for more privacy. The access points like stair and elevators are heavily guarded with this type of setup. Next is the main building second floor plan, which features the break of spaces, the frontage bridge, as well as the outdoor balcony on the left side. This perspective shows the break of spaces with mobile plant boxes with wheels for the seating area to be more flexible. This is another perspective showing the rear view of the break of spaces. This on the other hand is your view of the center of the city which features the sun shading baffles as well as the balcony railing vines. This is the view of the chandeliers on the second floor which mimics the fall of rain, thus having the feeling that nature still flows along the interiors. Moving up on the next floor on the third floor plan, this is where most of the private office spaces are located. Notice how the break of spaces are still visible. This is to provide people a rest in the eyes and be able to breathe as much air as possible especially in an office setting where stress is inevitable. These breaks of spaces are also useful to promote passive cooling with the habagat and the mihan winds. For the perspectives, this is the view of the consultation offices. Meeting rooms are also visible in this area. This is a view of a mini lounge where people can sit down. The thought of Zen still flows along the interiors through the use of clean furniture and simplistic design elements. At the top of the building, this is where landscape roofing is located. This is also where solar panel sheds are placed to collect energy as well as provide shade for the people congregating in the area. 
This is the perspective view showing the stalls for the people as well as seating areas where people can enjoy their meals. Solar sheds are placed in this area and as you can see on the main building's roof, we also use normal solar panels to be more cost efficient especially since this is a government owned building. We should set an ex we should set an example on how to invest. We should set an example on how to invest now to save more later. So for our parking building, to briefly summarize it, our final parking occupant load is 10,000 and the required number is 200. So for our parking, we have 201 normal parking slots, 15 PWD parking, and 99 motorcycle parking. So that equates to 216 vehicular parking, 99 motorcycle parking, and one emergency ambulance near the clinic. So as the floors go higher, you will notice the change in floor area. This is to mimic the natural form of the rice terraces as well as to let visitors know that the journey starts here when, you're, when you park your vehicles. This is the perspective showing the form of the parking building as well as the mini park as a transition to the city hall. This is the third floor plan. Then this is the fourth floor plan which features the bridge with glass panels as an interesting feature when crossing the bridge. For the last building, the pavilion building is meant for a congregation among people like cafeterias, waiting and hangout areas and the like. This is the second floor plan which features the bridge covered with canopy shed with hanging vines to continue the flow of purity and zen along the balconies and bridges. This is the perspective of the bridge which shows the pavilion building featuring the bridge shed. For the sections, here is the longitudinal site section showing the connections and bridges of the three built structures. For the section of the main building, the finished floor line is 300 millimeters from the natural ground line. The interval of the first finished floor line to the second is 4 meters, followed by 3.8 meters, then 3.5. And lastly, the fourth shed floor line to the roof is 3 meters. The bridge from the third floor plan of the main building will be connected at the fourth floor of the parking building for easier access and convenience. The thickness of the slab is 200 millimeters and 150 millimeters on the rest of the floors. The allotted space for the ceiling cavity is 450 millimeters. For the cross section of the main building, it shows the lobby which shows the areas that are open to below that serves as the building's daylight source. For the parking building section, for the parking building, the floor to floor levels would be 2700 millimeters. Since it would have a bridge on the fourth floor connecting to the main building, the heights on both buildings should be compatible. For the two-story pavilion building, the levels will be uniform with the main building since it will also For the two-story pavilion building, the levels will be uniform with the main building since it will also have a bridge linking the two structures together. So to briefly run through the perspective once more, this is the rear view of the break of spaces. This is the roof deck view. This is the bridge view of the pavilion building. This is the perspective showing the form of the parking building. This is the perspective of the center of the city as well as the entrance of the building. This is the view of the frontage of the building together with the citizen monument. This is an aerial view of the biophilic playground. This is the second floor view of the chandeliers that mimic the fall of rain. This is the view of the center of the city from the break of spaces. This is the view of the lobby showing the beautiful chandeliers. This is the view of the reception area on the ground floor. This is the view of the biophilic playground that features the rainwater collection system as well as the uniquely designed landscape furniture. This is the view of the cafeteria in the pavilion building. This is the common view of the consultation offices as well as the meeting rooms. And lastly, this is the view of the Zen-inspired interior design on the mini lobby. So to close our presentation, we present to you a short walkthrough video showing the flow of our spaces. Starting with the frontage of the main building, this shows the citizen monument as well as the bridges connecting the main building. From this view, you will notice how lush the greeneries are, especially in the frontage of the main building and at the back. This on the other hand is a view of the main vehicular flow of the city hall at the back. And this vehicular flow will prevent traffic on the front and to keep the front serene and quiet. This is important to keep the Zen concept flowing throughout the city hall. This view shows the rainwater collection systems as well as the biophilic playground at the corner. 
is the elevation of the parking building which shows the metal cladding with green walk. This view shows the Banawa Rice Terraces inspired parking building which shows the change in floor area as the floors go up. This view shows the Zen inspired cafeteria at the pavilion building. The next view is the mini lobby which has Zen inspired furniture. This next view shows the reception area with a beautiful ceiling design. This next one is the worm view of the chandeliers in the lobby. This next view is the center of the city which also shows the breaks of spaces located in the main building. This view shows the frontage of the main building as well as the playground area where, where children can play. This is where they can play and wait for their parents while getting their valuable documents in the main building. And lastly, this is the view of the roof deck which also shows the center of the city as well as the sun shading baffles to prevent excessive heat for its users. And that concludes the short walkthrough video of Citizen, a place of abode. And that concludes our presentation on our proposed Pasay City Hall entitled Citizen, a place of abode. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you watched till the end. If you loved the presentation, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to ring the notification bell to be notified whenever I post new presentations, new vlogs, new architecture-related content, shoppy hauls, and random uh, day-in-the-life vlogs. So, and yeah, I really had fun making this plate, especially with my partner, Darl Nikis Manode, right here. And I would also like to thank again my professor, architect Denise Rotor, for the constant guidance and supervision. So that's it for the video, and see you on the next one. Bye!